In this tutorial, we're going to show you the AP mod, which can be configured to the WA-22, the WA-22P, or the WA-27F. The AP mod is something that can be adapted to any of the Daniels pneumatic crimp tools. Instead of using a traditional positioner, what we do with the AP mod is we have what we call a KQA. The KQA is a universal positioner that is set up for one particular contact. This can be adapted for the WA-27F or the WA-22. The way this tool operates is once you apply your shop air pressure, to activate the tool, you no longer use the finger press or a foot pedal. You simply install a contact into the auto positioner. And notice how the contact is raised and the contact doesn't drop down inside the locator of the positioner as it would in a traditional crimp tool. With the contact raised and visible, it's much easier for the operator to visually see that the wire is being inserted properly into the contact. To activate the tool, all the operator has to do is simply push down all the way and it will automatically crimp the contact without a foot pedal or activating a finger press. When purchasing an AP mod system, you'll also need to order a unique KQA to match the contact that you're currently crimping. In this case, I have a KQA 41, which is similar to the K 41 positioner. They both have bayonet pins and so therefore they install onto the tool the same way. When using the AP mod system, the selector setting will remain the same and the settings will be identical to what you have on your crimp tool and your hand positioner. Make sure you set the selector knob to the proper setting, matching your contact and wire size. The AP mod can be purchased in two different configurations one would be that you order the tool already set up with the AP mod, or you can order just the AP mod system itself and retrofit your tool that you already have on the shop floor. To check the calibration of the tool when the AP mod is installed, it's a very simple process. Simply take an uncrimped wire and push down on the locator. Holding it down, use this tab and turn it directly up. There's a larger slot on it and this tab will go all the way back. What this is doing is it's locking the locator below the indenters. Now, using a go no go gauge, simply depress the button on the AP module and this will activate the indenters. Now you can perform your go no go test as you normally would with any pneumatic crimp tool. Release the trigger, and you're back in crimp mode. And remember, buy American, buy quality, buy DMC.